Hello and welcome to our presentation of our new fantasy MMO, Elegium, the Chosen One. Before we begin, I'd like to tell you a little bit about Elegium's backstory. The homeland of the humans was attacked and almost completely overrun by a massive demon army. In a last desperate attempt, the humans were able to repel the enemy, but at a high price. The homeland was destroyed, and so they left to seek a better fortune elsewhere. After a long search, the humans finally found Galgaron, a previously unknown land to start anew. But driven by greed, the humans split into two opposing factions, and a new war broke out. According to legend, only the Chosen One can destroy the mighty demon army once and for all. In Elegium, players can choose between four races and five classes. Every class is bound to a certain race, reflecting the special abilities of each unique race in the game. Humans fill the ranks of the warrior class in Elegium. Warriors are excellent in close combat and are particularly skilled with sword and shield. So this is the perfect class for dealing severe damage to opponents. Enemy attacks fall flat against the tough armor of a warrior. The mage is another human class. They dispatch their enemies from a distance with magical attacks, strengthening spells for their allies, and also area of effect spells. The hunter is an elven class. Hunters are masterful long distance fighters, whether using a bow or a gun lens. They also have other helpful skills, such as setting traps. Due to their exceptional talents, the Viridi race is well suited to the Druid class. Not only do they possess healing capabilities, but they can either summon minions or transform into powerful monsters, depending on their specialization. In battle, they attack opponents with whips or razor-sharp chakrams. Pandas are the martial arts specialists in Elegium. They are true masters of battle and fight using claws as sharp as knives and magical attacks. After choosing a racing class, players must also choose one of two factions, either the Holy Kingdom or the Glorious Empire. Players must then choose one of five virtues. If one player chooses bravery and joins a group with a player with honor, the virtues work together and provide the group with a buff, such as mana regeneration or increased damage. Now we move on to the skill system, which is very extensive. You have a large range of options to level up, and strengthen your character and their items. Let's begin with the skill book, which is divided into various sections such as combat skills and all other skills for attack. Depending on the character's level, up to four different skill trees can be chosen, and more powerful attack skills can be developed. The more you use a certain skill, the better it becomes. Each skill has its own attributes which can be raised, and each skill can eventually be raised to the maximum with enough practice. For an overview of the skill trees and their specialization levels, players can use the handy search function. This displays all skills and specializations of the five classes with detailed information. You can also strengthen your character by using the rune circle. Special quest series give rare and valuable runes which can be placed inside the rune circle. So the rune circle is activated with runes and then provides the player with a permanent buff. Illigium also features a unique mount system, in which players raise their own mounts. Players receive eggs through quests, or alternatively, special runes may also be purchased, which then hatch into larvae. Players must carefully tend to and feed their larvae to ensure that they have the best attributes once grown. Once they have reached the third evolution stage, they can be ridden by the player and will also help out in battle. For further support, players also have pets. These companions will follow their masters, providing them with buffs to increase damage or to speed up HP regeneration. Elegium the Chosen One also has many features such as an extensive guild system, featuring guild housing, resource systems, and the ability to construct defensive strongholds. PvP fans will also have something to get excited about. Not only is there player versus player action, but players can also compete with each other in guild and faction wars. Elegium also boasts a detailed ranking and statistic system, which players can use to compare their successes with others on the same server. 
That's the end of our presentation. We hope we've given you an exciting insight into Elugium, the Chosen One, and we'll see you online soon.